Uh, Jakarta is a foundation of a lot of things uh, in cloud native and enterprise job. Found foundationally, if you're uh, even if you're not using an application server like uh, Web Server, Web Logic, JBoss, CAP, and so on, uh, foundationally any any other technology that you look at in the ecosystem, whether it's Quarkus or Microprofile or Spring Boot, or even something like Tomcat or Hibernate, all of these things foundationally are dependent on Jakarta as a technology, right? So they either uh, implement Jakarta platform like these app servers do. They implement some specifications like Hibernate and Tomcat do, or they use these technologies as foundational pieces like Spring does. And perhaps you can argue Microprofile and Quarkus does as well. So um, without this technology set being vibrant and actively evolving and have a setting up set of participants behind it, none of those things would be possible. So uh, really it is a key piece to the entire Java ecosystem puzzle. Uh, Java E and it's you know today Jakarta E, without this technology, uh, Java wouldn't be what it is. It, there wouldn't be as many players, it wouldn't be as broadly adopted as it is today. Uh, so it is very important to keep this technology relevant and strong, but ultimately every single Java developer's career and livelihood actually depends on the, on the health and success of this technology, you know, again, for in the next 10 or 20 years or more, we hope.